Hello, hello, hello. Here we go with your homework for Tuesday, April 7th. Pretty short day today. Pretty short day today, you guys. So get excited about that. For Bible, you may read Luke chapter 24 if you would like to. Um, but you don't have to since you just did that last week. Optional. But you should practice saying your Bible verse. Spelling. We have your backside of your spelling sheet, worksheet 28B. It says flip and write, but there is no other side, so you can't actually flip. Just grab your spelling paper from Monday and copy the words down neatly in cursive, then copy them down neatly in print, and then at the bottom, you can, or capital print, you guys, ah, capital, capital print, and then at the bottom, you may choose cursive or print as long as it's neat. Doesn't matter to me. For reading, you should read the next chapter in On the Banks of Plum Creek, which should be chapter seven, and continue working on your reading paper. Crank out like two more, two more of the answers. Math is minus 100s in six minutes or less. If you achieve a new go goal, get ask, have your parents put a sticker in your reference sheet. Um, lesson 85. Here you go, lesson 85. Um, some of the problems are done for you just to remind you how to do them, but this is all review. There's not anything new on this sheet. When you're done with the front side, flip it over and do the back side. You may read this if you would like to, but you don't have to. What you do need to do is the multiplication down here. If you don't have your multiplication by sevens memorized, which, um, you do have your count by sevens memorized, so you should be able to figure it out. Like seven times three, you just do your count by sevens three times. Seven, 14, 21, the answer is 21. But if you've forgotten your count by sevens, all of the right answers are all right here for you. So you would just look up seven times three is 21. The right answer is just right there for you. So make sure you, you do this either from your brain or by copying it down. Um, for history, you should review your statehood and symbol sound off in your history workbook. And then here is, this is actually the picture I showed you yesterday of the mountain bluebird, but it's also of the syringa or the mock orange, which is the state flower of Idaho with its white petals and yellow orange insides. It's really pretty. So go ahead and color that in your workbook. And then we are starting snakes today. This is called a garter snake, not a gardener snake. A lot of people call it gardener snakes. No, garter, garter snake. He's got a, a lighter stripe down his back and lighter a lighter stripe down each side. He is not really, he's not really, he's not a dangerous snake at all. He, he will bite you, but you know, and it might hurt a little bit, but you're not going to lose a finger or anything like that. You might bleed a tiny bit. You'll be fine. Um, the one thing that they like to do when they get caught though, is they like to poop or pee on you as a defense. So if you Catch one, watch out for that, and if it happens, then make sure you wash your hands. But these guys are fun to catch and hold. And they don't kill you if they, they bite you, which is not true of other snakes. Okay, you guys, good luck. You got this. Kill it. See ya.